Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic that is about a task manager on your MacBook. Right. So this is a MacBook. Uh, it can be any MacBook, be it MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, or any other. If in case you have switched recently from Windows to MacBook, so you might be looking for a task manager, which earlier used to look like this, right? And you might uh, see here what all applications which are currently open in your RAM. What all background processes that are open, how much RAM uh, it's actually using. So all this stuff used to be there in Task Manager in Windows system, but here in this MacBook or Mac OS operating systems, you might not be able to find the exact match to to the Task Manager. Just for your sake, I will just show you a quick search of Task Manager, and you might be surprised to see that there is no such task manager system in the Mac OS. So what you have to do to find which all applications are currently open or what all uh, RAM is being eaten by your uh, MacBook. So all this information I will provide you in this particular video where you will be able to understand how to find these levels of details or how to find all the open applications within the system. So there are few shortcuts that you have to uh, maybe learn. So first shortcut is to find out which all applications are open in system. So first is press options key, then command key and hit escape key. So whenever you do this, you will be able to find a pop up where you will be able to see all the applications which are currently open in your MacBook. For example, as you can see over here, one is Adobe Premiere Pro, another one is calculator and so on. If in case I click any one of these, it will ask me to force quit, right? So as you can see, I can easily force quit any of the applications uh, that I want to uh, just quickly force quit. Also, I can do a select all by command A and I will just click force quit. So it will basically quit all my applications which are open in background, uh, which I'm not going to do as I'm currently screen recording. So this is one way to identify which all applications are currently open. Now the second part, which is how much memory is currently being used by your Mac system. So for that purpose, you need to go to one thing, which is activity monitor. So again, I will just hit command space and this will open this uh, particular menu. You have to type activity monitor. And now you can see guys, uh, we have acti monitor, act activity monitor here, which suggests which all application are currently open or are running in background, how much energy, how much power it's actually currently using, which user has logged into which application. So all these levels of details are here in this activity monitor. And here itself, you can also see a tab which suggests CPU, memory, energy, disk and network. So where, where it also talks about how much memory your current application is taking, how much process, uh, how much processor usage your current application is taking. For example, this Adobe Premiere Pro is currently using 109% of my CPU. So as you can see, uh, it's eating up a good amount of my processors ability. So this is the way through which you can see all this stuff. So now the third part, which is how much storage is being used by MacBook OS. So for that part, again, you have to hit command space. And here you have to write storage. So this is a storage management application which suggests you how much storage I'm currently using out of how much storage I have available in my MacBook. So as you can see, I'm using 80 GB out of 245 GB available. So yeah, so this is a good uh, application which can be used to do the same task as we used to do on task manager. So the three applications, one is storage management, second is activity monitor, which is more fruitful for usage of current applications which are being uh, running in background. Third one is your force quit application, which is accessible by pressing command option escape, 
right so these are all applications that you can use and i hope this video is useful for you guys if in case it's it looks useful please share it with your fellow people who are using the same macbook i hope i made your day we'll meet you soon